Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing because we have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty. And today, I just want to chat with you guys. I am using a couple of new products. Well, not even like a bunch of new products. Really, it's one new eyeshadow palette that I picked up. This is the Coffee Shop palette from Juvia's Place. It's a neutral palette, okay? I couldn't say no to this palette. I'm also test driving the new color fluids from Hindash. I did go ahead and pick these up. I was considering doing a review for these and I asked you guys what you thought and I did go ahead and pick them up. This is my first time using them, so I'm not gonna give you any final thoughts on these, but I'm going to use them in this video as well. I also have like a couple of new products here or there, but the real reason I'm doing this video is just to chat with you guys about some of my recent experiences, okay? You know how we do in these Get Ready With Me videos. We talk a bunch of mess and put on makeup. So if you wanna see how I did this look and also talk some mess with me, then stay tuned and I will talk to you soon. All right guys, so as usual, we're starting off with a clean, freshly washed face. And I already started filling in my eyebrows, okay? But I decided to come on camera so we can talk about some stuff, okay? I was just gonna get ready, honestly, without filming it, but I was like, nah, we need to talk. We need to talk because, I, all right, let me just, let me, let me start, you know, doing, so I have primer on and everything, right? So, I <laughs> recently had an interaction with uh, someone and I, I, need to, I need to understand if I'm alone in, in, in this situation, all right? So I have a friend for, yeah, he's been my friend for about 15 years now. We work together. So I've known him since I was in my early 20s, before I got married, before he got married, before he had kids and all this stuff, right? So I've known this dude and initially when I met him, he was interested in me. I wasn't even remotely interested, right? So, um, my name is Natama, dear, right? I'm just like, sir, I am not interested in you. And I don't understand why men don't just take that and run with it. They think they can change your mind. And I guess in some cases, you can probably try to change somebody's mind like once they get to know you. But I'm not like that, all right? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't really have a type, but I have a none type, okay? So if you see any of my exes, like if you line up my exes next to each other, you won't see something that jumps out as similar among all of them, right? You be like, you dated him, but you dated him too, like make it make sense because there's no like overarching theme to who I date, right? I really date by personality. If I vibe with you, then, you know, I'll date you. But there's still a little bit to be said about my type, right? And right out the gate, I'll tell you right now, I don't date short men. I'm 5'8", and I like to wear heels, especially back then. I was in four inch heels minimum, so you know I was clocking in at six feet daily, okay? All the time. Don't let me go out. What? We're gonna rock six inch heels, and this is back when we had those platform stilettos, like, don't even, t don't start, okay? So I was in like four to six inch heels, always this dude was like five seven so he was already shorter than me flat foot right and now i put on heels and where you at like you know what i mean so right out the gate i don't date short men okay and i don't care what you gotta say about it it's just my type i don't like it i don't like the aesthetic i don't like how it feels i don't like how it looks i don't like having to look down on somebody i am definitely not gonna bend my neck to kiss you oh Hell no, and don't even get me started on telling me, oh, it's the same, it's the same thing when we horizontal. Oh yeah, you think so, really, really? Mm, it really is not, don't do that. Don't, don't play that. So I don't date short men, okay? That's my type, no short men, okay? That's, I mean, I think that's pretty simple. That's pretty straightforward. You know, I have a thing for teeth. If you have nice teeth, like, 
Oh my god. I'm not, oh my god. So I can definitely vibe with, you know, a good personality, somebody with good teeth, and somebody who isn't short, right? I don't ask for a lot. I don't think that's outlandish to say I don't date short men. So anyway, this dude was like, yeah, he was definitely a good 5'7", and I, I wasn't interested. I let him know up front. I'm not the type of person that leads men on. I'm not gonna play along. No, I'm very straightforward, very blunt. I'm like, that's cute that you're interested in me, but I'm not even remotely interested. So just cut it out. Like we can be friends and we can be cool, but I'm not attracted to you. I'm not interested and that won't ever change. And don't think you're gonna change my mind. Like I know out the gate whether or not I would give you a shot. So just get out my face. So I, this guy knows, okay? This was not, and especially back then, I was very blunt, like, I was even rude with it sometimes. I was very cold, okay? I didn't care whose feelings got hurt. I didn't sugarcoat a damn thing. So he knew right out the gate I was not interested. And then we worked with an older Jamaican man that I looked to as, like, an uncle figure, like, you know what I'm saying? And we would always be in his office chatting it up and, like, laughing and joking. And this guy was on his team, so it's like we would all three be sitting there chatting. So we would joke about it that this guy was interested in me. Let's call him Sam, okay? So Sam was interested in me, I wasn't interested. Made it blatantly clear. Over the years, we became really good friends though. Like, we would joke, he's a cool enough guy. His personality is enough to be a friend, but not enough to compensate for all his shortcomings, <laughs> let's say, all right? Plus there are other things about him that I just couldn't find attractive and there was no way I was gonna grow into it, right? So he knows from the jump, I'm not interested. But again, we became pretty good friends and we remained friends throughout the years, even when he left the company and he got married and he had kids, like the whole nine yards, I was his friend. And I was kind of his confidant because <sighs> this guy is terrible, okay? He is a great person, like, he is very dependable, he's very reliable, he's very helpful, like, if you needed something, you could call him, he's very smart, good at his job, like, he's one of those people, like, really good in that respect, but when it comes to relationships, like, no, sir, he is a horn dog. He cheats on his wife so much, okay? Other than that, and I'm like, other than that, you probably like, he's a terrible person, Tina. Yeah. Yeah, he is, but he has good qualities. All right, I'm using the coffee shop palette from Juvia's Place. I picked this up on a whim because it looked good. So it's a chocolatey themed palette. Well, coffee themed, but it looks chocolatey too. But it's a neutral palette with a bunch of neutrals. And they have all these deep dark tones that would be perfect for darker skin. So I'm like all about it. So this is what I'm going to use. I'm not going to show you the shades or anything because we're talking, right? So, like I said, I know this guy years, and all these years, he's always, like, made comments to me, and I'm always, like, brushing him off, and we joke about it, right? But he cheats on his wife. It's like a whole situation, all right? There was even one point where they were thinking about getting separated and getting a divorce, but his wife, for whatever reason, I mean, this guy, like I said, is really dependable. Like, I can see why she didn't want to let him go because as far as a husband goes, as far as taking care of his house and home and family, he does that. Like, if there's something that needs to be fixed, he's fixing it. He's very handy. He's good with money. Like, all those things. He comes from a great family. So all those things I can see she's attracted to. So she didn't want to let him go, even though she found out he was cheating. And he was not just cheating, like, a one-night stand. And I know you're like, cheaters are cheaters. There's a difference between you got drunk at a club and had a one night stand and oh my God, you live with regret for the rest of your life. There's a difference between that kind of cheating and then just cheating as a sport. Like you cheat whenever, wherever, however, and not only do you cheat, but you build connections with people. Like he was out here with this other woman, like building a connection, like they were both married and they were intending on getting divorced from each of their respective spouses and marrying each other. And I'm like, 
how did it get here, sir? How did it get here? But even when that happened, like his wife was like, nah, we gonna figure this out. We gonna go to counseling. You're not going nowhere. And at this point they had had one child and she was like, you're not going nowhere, sir. So they worked it out and he ended up staying and broke it off with the other miss and it's like a whole situation. But whatever, that's his MO, like that's his history. And it's like he always approached me like he thought I was gonna be one of his concubines. And I'm like, sir, no, we'll be friends, right? We'll, we'll, we can be cool because like I said, he's a decent enough person. <laughs> You guys are probably like, Tina, what you consider decent is a whole mess. And it's true, it's a whole mess. But we cool, right? Like, I've known him for years and we cool. And like I said, he's very reliable. Shit goes awry. I could count on him to be there for certain things. But, you know, still friendship level. Still keep him at a distance. He moved away to another state. And it's like, even when he visited New York, I didn't meet up with him because I don't lead people on. I don't want them to think like there there's a possibility at all. So I would always like keeping him at a distance. Like, yeah, we can, you can text in when his father died. Like, you know, we keep in touch. But it wasn't like that. I don't know. I don't lead people on, especially if I know you like me. I am not going to even mildly flirt with you. Like, I keep it, no. Mm -mm. We're not going there, okay? Especially given his history and how he is. Nah. So now, yes, I'm going to the gym, like trying to lose some of this weight because I don't feel too healthy. So I'm trying to like work out and stuff, not necessarily just to lose weight, right? But just feel better in my body because low key, I kind of like these thicker thighs. It's not a problem. You know what I mean? But I'm trying to feel a little bit healthier. So he's also trying to lose weight because he gained some weight over the years. And I mean, COVID and everything, I think everybody kind of put on some weight. Well, most people put on some weight. So we're all in the same situation. So he's like, yeah, let's, um, let's motivate each other. Like I'm going to check in to make sure you're going to the gym. You're getting your 10,000 steps. Like we're doing it. Right? So the thing is he sent me a picture of the scale showing his weight. Right? And I was like, all right, I'll send him a picture of my weight and then we're gonna like try to compete with each other to see how much we lose in any given amount of time. Like whatever, it was just a thing, right? I sent you the scale picture, he sent me his, right? Now that seems pretty harmless, right? Oh, little did I know, okay? So he's like, oh, did you take it, you know, fully nude? Because when you're taking certain weight pictures, you take it nude in the morning after you take a to, you know what I'm saying? So to get like the lowest weight. So, you know, I know how he is. So I was like, yeah, you know, whatever, you know, not much clothes on blah, blah, blah. So he's like, oh, he took his fully naked. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. Good for you. High five. Like, okay. And he sends me a picture proving that he was naked, not like full frontal, but like a picture of his butt. And I'm like, I did not ask for that. <laughs> I did not ask for any of this. Like that was unsolicited, please, okay? And he's like, okay, send your proof now that you were naked. And I'm like, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Thank you so much. Thank you. And he got mad at me. Like he legit got mad at me. And he's like, oh yeah, well I need confirmation that you were naked. And I'm like, well, you're just gonna have to take my word for it cause I'm not sending you no pics. You can believe it or not. That's none of my business. Like, I don't care. Like, and then he goes, you can be so cold sometimes. And I'm like, how is that cold? How is me telling you that I'm not about to send you any photos of me in the nude or in the buff? Why would I send you a nude? Like, why? I don't care who you are. And his whole debate is, oh, we're friends, we're cool, like, we've been cool all these years, like, what's the big deal? And I'm like, did you just ask me what's the big deal about sending a nude to somebody I'm not involved with? Are you serious? <laughs> like, I just can't fathom the audacity, like... <laughs> And this is why you guys are probably like, this is not a good person, Tina. And I'm like, yeah, he's not a good person, but he's funny sometimes. <laughs> I'm just like, and I know he's over there in his feelings because he sent me a kind of nude shot. 
but it was like an angle like he took the the picture like this above his head so you could kind of see his behind you know but it wasn't like a serious like nude nude so it was like a funny nude and it <laughs> i am not going to do that so i don't know what to tell you sir but yeah, he called an attitude and called me cold. And I'm like, how is that cold? Like, you know, it's never going to happen. All these years, I've never sent you a nude. You're not going to try to manipulate me into making a ha ha kiki joke out of it so I feel comfortable doing it. No, it's never gonna happen. It's not about even being comfortable sending you a nude. It's just, I'm not sending you a nude, okay? I'm not interested. I don't want to give you the wrong idea ever. And I thought I made that pretty clear over the years that it's never, ever going to happen. This palette, guys, she is up like, okay, she is kind of the perfect nude palette for richer skin tones. Like, it's given me everything that I need to be given, like the shimmers. Are doing what I need them to do the mats are oh my god and they have these different depths oh it's so good it is so good if you're a neutral palette lover you might love this palette so I'm just out here like this big married man I got catch attitude with me because I don't want to send him a nude can you even imagine I cannot imagine so let him be out here being angry but i just thought that was funny oh my god can i tell you guys about something that happened to me too so i was making escovige sauce for some fry fish if you're jamaican you know what that is if you're not it is um a pickled sauce that we use with fried fish so it's made with carrots onions um, scotch bonnet pepper some people put garlic in theirs and some people also put chocho which is but what is it called i forget what they call chocho it's like a b word batata it's not batata batata is um sweet potatoes it's this other name that they call it but it's chocho remember pop up chocho <laughs> here that's chocho right so you slice it up you kind of julienne it which is just thin slices. So you boil it on the stove with the white cane vinegar. Just a little bit though, just to blanch it. You're not really boiling them to get them tender because you still want them to have that snap and that crunch to them. I just use the one size primer. I've had it for a while, I haven't used it. So you do that and then you put it in a, you know, a glass bottle or jar, one of those vacuum sealed ones. So you keep it nice and fresh and you use that for your fried fish and it's just delicious i love the tang of it it just makes fried fish taste better and we call that the, the escovige fish right so you buy the fish and then we'll put the sauce on it you know what i'm gonna use i haven't you mm, uh, mm. i have so many foundations which one should i wear today um i feel like something light let's use dior face and body I haven't used this in a while, so let's see if it's still okay or if it's gone bad because then I'll throw it out. So I was making this sauce. So now I'm slicing up the ingredients, right? And you know those slicers that you use for onions and various vegetables. You can use it for anything, but I use it for my onions. I'll pop that up here too. I know there's a name to it. I don't know what the name is and I don't care to look it up and yeah. So I have the little slicer, right? And I'm slicing up the onions because I don't like to slice onions with a knife because the smell stays all over my hands and I don't like that. I know I can wear a glove or whatever, but I wasn't doing that. With this slicer, I can do it really quickly, get the thinness that I want, and like it's a quick thing, right? So, I'm going to slice the onion. Slice and dice, child! When I got down to the bump, so there's a holder with it, but I wasn't using the holder. You can kind of stab the onion with it and then just use it to glide the onion across the blade but i was just doing it really fast so i wasn't using the the holder i was just using my hand right because i think i'm some kind of chef right so me i used the ola now and when i reached down to the end of the onion like the little bits that's left i was like all right there's at least one slice left i'm just gonna do it fast but i was doing it so fast that i didn't realize and i sliced my hand 
You ever just slice your hand or cut your hand or like bump yourself or whatever and you know it's about to be bad? I was just like, this is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. This is gonna hurt. And it didn't start hurting yet, but you know that's going through your mind. And I look and like, a chunk of my skin and a little flesh was flapped over because it sliced my hand like it was slicing an onion right I'm gonna insert the blood right now okay so fair warning there's gonna be blood so this is what my hand looked like okay yeah 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 it was bleeding like crazy and I thought it was a lot worse because it wouldn't stop bleeding no blood got over my onions because I listen this sauce has to be made because I'm about to eat this fish regardless of what is happening on my hand right now so I got through it and did my onions did the escovitch sauce you know got it ready for my fish because this fish gonna get ate all right so the undead all right and it's bleeding and bleeding and bleeding and it's, it's the fat like juicy fleshy part of your palm so it was mm -mm, it was painful and it's my right hand which makes it worse because i'm right-handed so <sighs> it was a time child so i was dealing with that it was a, like a whole situation and i was ready to film like i was getting ready to film and every time i say i'm going to film something happens something just happens and lo and behold there you go something happens this foundation though <laughs> Dior, you should have. You're so fantastic. I love you so much. All right, let's go in with some concealer. Let me try to use up. Yeah, so I took the little sifter out of my Fenty concealer because I'm almost done with it, which is fantastic. That is good. We're using things up. Now let me tell you about somebody else that I don't understand. So there's this, this guy that I, again, used to work with, all right? He's currently going through a divorce, a situation. He never really approached me while we worked together because I was married, he was married, he was respectful, but he followed me on Instagram. And I don't know how he found my Instagram because I really didn't tell people about my page. Like they'll probably know that I do YouTube, but I never like told them what my YouTube page was or anything, right? Now my page is open, it's public, so anybody can follow me, anybody can find me or whatever. So he had found me and he was following me and he had left comments like a couple of times, but I didn't think much of it. He would be like, oh, you look really pretty here or whatever, right? But it was just, more on the supportive side rather than the flirtatious side, right? So then after I got divorced and I left the company I was with or whatever, he hit me up in my DMs and he's like, hey, what's going on? Just checking to see if everything's okay. Like just on a friendship tip, right? So I was like, oh yeah, yeah, everything's cool. Like how are things, how are things at this company, blah, 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 blah. And it, we just kept it cordial, right? So now, He's going through this divorce. He's telling me about the whole situation. His wife cheated on him. What a piece of pricker. So his wife cheated on him. He's angry and, and bitter as you probably would be after such a thing. Like, it happens. Like, you know, it is what it is. So he's there trying to commiserate with me. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. But my marriage didn't end like that. Like, I'm still cool with my ex like we don't have no beef like there's no bitterness like we're still cool like I can still reach out to my ex if I needed anything and we're fine like we didn't end like that we just ended because we had like a, a different path that we wanted to follow for our lives and that just didn't align anymore and we just went our separate ways because of that right so there's no animosity or anything like i'm not one of those people that's like my ex can die and nah my ex is cool like that's a good dude like anyone that ends up with him after this like good for them because he's a good dude if everything aligns for you with him full blessings like yeah like my you know like i don't have that kind of feeling towards my ex like a lot of people do after getting divorced and i understand people get divorced for different reasons but mine was not like a, a like a big thing right like it was a big deal because of course we got divorced but it was because of like personal choices in life and that's cool like there's no again no animosity but he's coming at me like yeah 
he's talking about relationships and I'm like giving him a little bit of like advice or just talking about relationships, you know, and I'm saying certain things and he's like, well, how can you talk? You didn't even have a successful marriage. And I'm like, oh, I know you did not just, oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. I'm like, first of all, okay, my marriage was successful because they, I would go back and I would do it again. Okay, I would have changed nothing. I had a good run. It was good while it was good and I wouldn't take it back. I would do it all over again. No questions asked. Like, don't get rude. Okay, mind yourself. Mind your manners. Like, you and I are not the same, sweetie. Your situation and my situation, not the same. I'm actually using these new Hindash color fluids. So I picked these up. I mentioned in another video that I was thinking about picking them up to test them out. So I am testing them out. This is the first time I'm using them. So a review will be upcoming, but I'm testing it out right now. I mix the two neutral shades. One is Carve and one is Thorn. Obviously neither of these would be suitable for my skin tone exactly. So I'm mixing the two. You see, I kind of mix the two. So in the day, I'm gonna make them comments and I'm like, first of all, I'm gonna stop it right there. You and I are not the same. My relationship didn't end like yours did. You're bitter and angry at your ex-wife that a fool of business. Don't involve me, sir. But try your best. Try your best. Leave my relationship out your mouth, okay? I haven't said anything about yours. You don't say anything about mine, okay? Because you don't know the situation. You don't know the circumstances. And I tell people this all the time. Like my cousins too. Some of my cousins make some comments sometimes and I'm like... You know me cuss you out, right? You know me cuss you out because y'all are in relationships that aren't even half as happy as I was in mine. And just because we ended doesn't mean it wasn't successful. So you need to worry about yourself and don't worry about mine, okay? Because me cussing out. Because nobody knows why. And that's something that's between me and my ex. That's not for everybody to know. That's who I choose to tell what happened. And other than that, mind your business. Like I, And there's a reason I don't tell certain cousins what happened because at the end of the day, that's not your business and you're not gonna carry my business go around. Like I don't trust people, okay? I don't care who you are, which is why I don't really have friends because I don't confide in people about certain things. No, mm -mm. you're gonna have to take my business to the grave. And there's certain people out here that you'll tell things and they'll use it against you in the future. Like they'll tell your your business, like they'll tell people about like your life and I don't play that game. So I keep my cards close to my chest and there are very few people that like know details about me and my relationship, right? So these cousins don't know, so I'll cuss them out. But anyway, this dude, so I'm that right on my talk on Ray Ray Ray. Him is the next one. So him daddy and him talk and him, him interested in a me and a long time him interested and I'm like, okay, sir, well, I'm not interested in you. And again, I make it very clear up front when I'm not interested in you because I don't like leading people on. I don't like people thinking there is a chance in hell that I'm gonna be with them. On the cheeks, I mix the two colorful shades. So we have Heartiste, which is a um, rosy pink and rising and it's Heartiste, like artist but with heart so it's heart is yeah i mix these two and they dry what i'm realizing is that they dry pretty quickly so you want to work fast they're not really a creamy consistency so it's looking a little bit patchy on my skin so I'm gonna need to figure out how to work with them best but they're pretty they're pretty colors it's just a formula you'll have to know how to work with it this eyeshadow though so fantastic so anyway he's there talking all his shit and I'm like yeah 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 so the other day I know him tell me say he got a raise at work and I'm like great good for you like congrats like get yourself something nice so he goes you and I'm like, maybe get yourself something that is actually attainable. You know, I already told you, like, I am not an option for you. Like, sorry. Then him gonna tell me. He says, oh, well, I always get what I want. <laughs> 
So my response, like, y'all, I go, okay. Yeah, I understand that because I'm also somebody who gets what I want. If I set my eyes on something, I get what I want. But I'm also realistic. And right now I'm telling you, be realistic. You're not going to get me. Okay, so yeah. Do better. This man I got to say. This man I got to say, I forgot to tell you what I'm saying. Hold on, dear. You can refrain from telling me what I can't have. What do you mean I should refrain from telling you what you can't have? You want me, right? Son of me in control, so I not understand. So I said, oh, okay. So this is where I say I always get what I want too, so I know the vibes. But also, you need to know your limits. Like, humble yourself. This man, I gotta say, you sounding a bit delusional. You can watch all my real stories and posts and have no clue, but pop your shit, Tina. You're telling me to pop my shit like it's not my pussy? Like... I'm like, I'm trying to understand. I'm like, how are you going to tell me that I sound delusional in telling you that I'm not interested and that you're not going to get me? Like, how is that? Like, I, 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 <laughs> like, I am at a loss. I am really at a loss. So then I'm like, I'm a bit confusion because... Are we talking about the same thing? Because I don't think we are. Didn't you say that you wanted to get me? And then me telling you that you're not going to get me? How is that making me delusional? Like, I'm confused. I'm really confused. Is It was at that point that I just like, you know what? I'm not even going to entertain this anymore. Thank you, sir. Have a good night. Like, we're not even going to keep talking. Because what are you talking about? Like, I am so confused. What are we really saying here? What are we saying? And I have this question for y'all. Is this what y'all be dealing with out here in these streets, like dating and stuff? I, because I could never, <laughs> I could never. What is this? And, oh my God, oh my God, are these men serious? And this dude, this dude I'm talking about, he's not even like a good dude, okay? This one, unlike my other friend that's actually still like a decent person, <laughs> I know you're still over there like, he's not a decent person. No, that one, at least he has good qualities. This one has no, like, redeeming qualities. Like, there's nothing about him that really says this is a good guy. Like, I know, like, nothing. He's so misogynistic. Like, he made a comment about how he don't understand how women just be going out to the clubs with their friends dressed up looking nice and all they do is twerk on their friends in the corner and don't want to entertain any men and i'm like i'm sorry i didn't realize that women weren't allowed to go out and have fun with their friends without entertaining the male gaze like i didn't know that was a part of the requirement for going outside like if i want to go out and have a good time and i want to party and i want to dance and i just want to listen to some music and vibe out i can do that without having to entertain men. Like, I don't have to dance with a man. I don't need to entertain him. I don't want to drink. Like, I didn't realize that we were obligated to actually interact with the male species if we go outside. Like, just going outside. Because he's going to go, well, they could have just stayed home. And I'm like, oh, so the minute you leave your house, you should be open to engage in with men why oh because you want us to engage with you make that make sense to me so he's already misogynistic and like a whole fool because i don't know who he think he's talking to and i'm really just here like i don't think you should be talking to me anymore i don't think i am who you think i am i don't know because we don't vibe at all like, he's so deluge. He's the delusional one. Like, he's the one that needs to get a sanity check. Like, I, I don't think you know who I am. Because, like, all the things you're saying right now don't need align with who I am as a person. Like, you're looking for a submissive idiot, pretty much. Because what you're spewing out your mouth just don't make no sense. Like, 
how you mad that a woman is out here having fun with her friends and not engaging in any kind of conversation or like dancing with you or whatever like she's not engaging at all she's not interested in your approach like she doesn't want to deal with you this is from shantakai it's their new holiday collection and shantakai listen i like shantakai some of the products but they need to get with it okay get with the times they keep releasing all these powders and blushes and highlighters and blah 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 but not nary a one is good for darker skin tones and i know like this powder here that they have this is their glow powder it's their blur glow powder so they have a blur powder that does work because it's pretty translucent so you can use it on deeper skin and they have a darker version to it but everything else that they release in their line just doesn't work on deeper skin and even the blur powder in the dark version still won't work on deeper richer skin because it's so light and i'm like when are they gonna get it together and make products that are brown skin friendly you know yes some of your things can kind of work on me because i'm not that dark but at the same time they barely work on me so why are you bothering like you need to be way more inclusive especially sending things to to me like it's not gonna jive with me if your stuff ain't really popping and I'm gonna share the swatches, okay? I'll share the swatches because I want darker skinned people to know this ain't for us. Like, people probably be like, but you're still sharing swatches. Yeah, because when I share the swatches, this should warn you that this collection is not for you. Because you probably look at the products and you're like, oh, that's cute, maybe that will work for me. No, these swatches will show you that they will not work for you, okay? That's what I'm here for. They send it to me, I'm gonna swatch it, and I'm gonna show you, baby girl. You could probably just stay away from this one, and they're high priced too, but they really need to work on their product line. I think they do have some beautiful formulations. I think, like, if they worked on their skin tone range, they could do some things. And I mean, the eyeshadows work beautifully i think their eyeshadows are beautiful and i love the charity aspect of the brand i like what they stand for i like a lot of what they do but i can't stand for the non-inclusivity that they stand for okay because their products their product line is just not inclusive enough for me and i don't appreciate it all these higher end brands like they need to work okay they need to work towards including deeper richer skin tones and this eyeshadow is so beautiful i'm so glad i decided to pick this palette up i'm so glad i decided to use it as well because it is fantastic like look at this oh my god compared to the last eyeshadows that i picked up <clears throat> lisa eldridge these are doing everything that I want them to give. And it's funny, when I swatched them, I was like, oh my god, these mattes feel so dry. Like, they seem very rough. But applying them, you're not going to feel it when you're applying them on your eyes. Like, you're using a brush. The brush is going to be what you really feel. So if your brushes are soft, the eyeshadow is not going to feel rough and dry. But swatching them with your fingers... They may feel a little rough, but I mean, the blend, the beauty. Oh my God, this palette, stop it right now. This is such a good palette. So yeah, like this dude, like, I'm just, I'm just, and I was flabbergasted, okay? Because it was cute, it was, it could have been cute coming from somebody else. It could have been cute coming from somebody I was interested in if they'd said, yeah. I'm gonna treat myself to you like something nice like get yourself something nice and they're like yeah you and I'd have been like e -he -he -he, you know like you know if you like somebody you're like Hee -hee. but it was from somebody I wasn't even remotely interested in that I told I wasn't interested in and then he's gonna tell me I'm delusional to telling him that he can't get what he wants and I'm like I'm the delusional one I'm the confused one are you sure about that are you sure? Like, look at this eyeshadow. Come on. Oh. 
it's so good it's so pretty stop if you are thinking about getting this palette get it get it i'm just gonna tell you right now get it because it is so pretty okay here's what's gonna happen right now i finished oh god i just messed up oh my god this eyeliner from pat mcgrath as well she's still having like her 35 percent off sale like she's doing the most but that was expected i've had this for months now almost probably over a year and it's so liquidy it's so richly pigmented it's so black it glides so well so if you were interested in this liner yeah it's it's good it's a good liner but i just messed up as you do with liquid liner you go way over the line i just wanted to line the lash band but it don't look bad right it's fine so here's what's gonna happen now i told you the two stories that i wanted to tell you could well the three stories that i wanted to tell you because i wanted to see if you guys could make it make sense to me it don't make no sense and there's no making it make sense because these men the audacity the audacity i just can't take it but i never truly experienced the audacity as much because my countenance doesn't really attract fuck boys like it's not my vibe like instantly once you talk to me you're gonna know to leave me alone if you're into some foolishness because i'll tell you real kid get out my face get out my face right now don't play with me do not play with me so most most fuck boys know to avoid me they don't bring their foolishness to me but every now and then one slips through the crack with the nonsense and i gotta be like who are you talking like who are you talking to like for real though because i must be confused somebody's confused and i don't think it's necessarily me because what <laughs> like, i really don't understand like at what point did they get me fucked up because that's really what it is you got me all the way fucked up right and i want to know if this is what y'all really be dealing with out here in these streets like i said i don't really deal with this because I don't I don't attract that kind of vibe because of who I am and just the vibe I personally give off my vibe says don't come to me with your foolishness so I don't really get too many of those interactions but y'all are gonna have to let me know if this is what y'all really out here dealing with these foolish men like who are they talking to like are they serious like no them can't serious them cannot be serious I could never no so y'all let me know what your experience has been i am going to actually eat some food i am hungry this is a victoria beckham eye pencil this is the shade coco it's a dark brown i haven't used the dark brown yet i used the black but the dark brown is like almost black oh this is so good like oh this is so good these pencils i'm so happy i bit the bullet and tried them out like I hesitated for so long because they're so pricey but the minute I picked up the black one and tried it I was like I need to try the others so I'm gonna go eat some food because I'm starving right now so I'm gonna come back and do a lip on camera but I gotta eat first so you might see the lighting change a bit because I have to eat something I am starving and it may be a little while before I come back and finish up but that way you can also see how everything has settled in and yeah I'll be right back all right I am back and honestly this makeup is giving me all the feels okay it looks so good well the eyeshadow especially I'm so in love with this eyeshadow right now I can't get over it but the cheeks um i've had better so i'm actually going to go in with a different blush so i have this blush from nude sticks it's the nudies bloom all over face dewy color i know dewy you're like oh my god the shade i have here is rusty rouge which is an rng shade did i say that funny rusty rouge so I am going to pick that up on a brush. I'm not going to go directly from the tube and pounce it on my cheek area. What I found with stick blushes like this is that they actually work better from a brush instead of like swiping them on your cheeks and then trying to blend them out. 
which I have been guilty of doing in the past. It just doesn't work as well as getting some of the product on a brush like this and pouncing it on your cheeks. Yas! That is a much better blush. Thank you so much because that Hindash blush was not really doing what I needed it to do. And I think that is because of how I applied it. So I'm going to work with them some more and try to figure out how to use those color fluids on the face instead of like just on the lips or something because that didn't work out as well. That is a pretty blush. Is Nude Stick still around? I feel like I haven't heard too much about them recently, so I don't know if they're still around. Let's try out a highlighter from House Labs. This is the shade Raw Amber. I haven't used this on camera yet, and I wanna see how it looks on my cheeks. I need a light fluffy brush for this. Let's try this BK Beauty 113 brush. This is from the Core Extension line. I really hope they start selling these brushes individually because there are a couple of them that I want to pick up. But if you get the full set, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I just want some duplicates of some of the brushes. So I'm hoping they start selling them individually. I really love these House Labs highlighters. I think they look so beautiful on the cheeks. Like, look at that. It's subtle, it's not glittery or too shiny. It just looks like a healthy glow on my skin. And I mean, come on, look at that color. Isn't that pretty? It is so stunning. I prefer kind of blush toppers over like stark highlighters. And I think this one is fantastic. Okay, lips. Lips, lips, lips. Since I use the Juvia's Place Coffee Shop palette, I'm going to use some Juvia's Place lipsticks. So these I picked up a while back now. These were from the Nubian Earth Collection at Ulta. So I have two shades here, Nile, which is a light nude. It has like a warm caramel undertone to it. So it's almost like, hmm, like a yellow nude. It's kind of interesting. And that's why I picked this color up because I thought it was different. Like it's really beautiful, but it's a little unusual. It's like a mustard almost. Look at that, right? It's like a mustard shade. And then I have Sheba, which is a deep dark brown. So I'm gonna apply Sheba on the outer edges of my lips to create a deeper, darker ombre. And I'll also use a lip brush to create a crisp outer line. And then go back in with Nile, which is the lighter shade, to the center of my lips to create that beautiful blown out ombre effect to my lips. And I really, really am loving how this lip looks. It's so beautiful. Nile is just one of those interesting colors. It's mustardy, it has that kind of warm undertone to it, but it just looks so stunning. I'm so in love with it. Oh my God. All right, now should we do a little bit of clear gloss? I got this in a order from Victoria Beckham Beauty. I don't know what's going on, but they sent me like a couple of extra items that I didn't order and I'm like, all right, I'll take it. I got my order, right? Which were eyeliner pencils, but then I got a lid luster, this gloss, and then an extra shade of eyeliner that I didn't order, plus my order. So it's not like they got my order wrong. I was just like, all right, I'll take it. So let me try it out. I have not tried any of Victoria Beckham's lip products, none of the lip liners, the lipstick. I've heard great things, but the only things that I've tried so far from the line are the lid lusters and the eyeliners, which I am absolutely in love with. This lip gloss is not sticky at all. I'm not getting a ton of product from the wand, which is kind of a good thing, but I'm trying to get like more product so I can really gloss up my lips. But it's not an over glossy lip gloss. It doesn't feel sticky at all, but it doesn't feel liquidy and runny either. Hmm, we'll see. So anyway, here is the completed look. Woo, shout. Mm. I 
am in love with this eyeshadow look. I don't know if I've said that enough. Do you guys understand how in love I am with this eyeshadow? Oh my god. All right, this palette is officially one of my favorite neutral palettes to date. And I love a proper neutral, right? You guys know I love color, but a good neutral I really enjoy. And I think this palette is almost my perfect neutral palette tossed together. They're beautiful mattes. We have mid-tones, deep tones, which I really love, smoky shades. We have some warmer shades that aren't oranges. <sighs> Whoever thought that we could have warmer browns that aren't oranges? Oh my god. So we have warmer shades, coffee tones, deeper smoky shades. I have this light shade that I love. The shimmers are gorgeous and they aren't just like coppery bronzes. There's no yellow gold. It's just, it's perfect. Oh my god. So this palette, highly recommend. Everything else in this video, I have, no, that's a lie. The Hindash products, these color fluids. The jewelry is still out. I'm still testing these out. This is the first time I'm trying them out, but I've already learned a couple of things. The formulation is not one that you're going to apply to your cheeks and then blend out like directly from the applicator. You're going to need to apply it to a brush and then work from the brush or work from a palette. And you're gonna need to work fast because they dry down really quickly and they dry down to like that, I don't wanna say it, but like that dry matte finish that is not necessarily the most flattering thing ever you can get patchiness so you just have to be careful with them so i'm gonna play around with them a lot more before i do a review because i want to give them a fair shot i think the colors are stunning the shades that were released are absolutely beautiful but i just need to know how to work with them a little bit better before i do a full review of them the foundation already love concealer from fenty love that as well like there's no surprise there the blush that we kind of pulled in last minute from sticks I really like this it's a pretty color and it gives a little glow to the skin because it's a dewy blush but it's not shimmery or glittery it's just a nice healthy glow on the cheeks which I appreciate the highlighter from house labs I love the highlighters from house labs oh I have other shades this is chocolate opal it's so stunning I have I think the majority of the highlighters this one is bronzite Oh, so pretty. But the one I used today is Raw Amber. I think this is a beautiful one. Again, it's very subtle on my cheeks. I like a subtle highlight. And it almost melts into my skin. So it looks like it's my skin that's glowing. And I think that's the best way to use a highlighter. Like, give a little, uh, that could be my skin. Ooh, I'm flushed and sweaty. Well, not really sweaty. <laughs> That sounds bad but ooh, like I'm flushed and look at my natural glow it's pretty and I love that about this so the highlighter definitely a plus and the lipsticks I've loved these since I picked them up and today is no different beautiful L like look at this vampy look right now like what get into it loving it what else did we use I think that's it oh the gloss it's a clear gloss I mean I don't really think you need to go out of your way to get that so that's it. Those are all the products that we use in this video apart from like my tried and true products that I already know and love. So let me know what you guys think about the look, but also let me know about what's going on in the dating world with you guys because these men are crazy, okay? <laughs> They're absolutely nuts and I just need some feedback from you guys. I'm not understanding. I'm not following. Like I do not compute. So let me know what's going on with you guys. I just wanted to catch up and do this look and fix my bra straps. Oh my God, I hate bras so much, but I feel like being in a white shirt, I don't want you to see my nipples. So that's why I have a bra on. I know, I know. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and list all the products down below. This video is so weird and I don't know if I'm gonna post it, but I love the eye look too much, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna post it. So don't think I'm too weird, guys. I'm a little bit weird right now. 
okay? I'm gonna leave a full list of all the products mentioned and used in this video down below in the description box along with links on where you can pick them up. If there's an asterisk next to any of those links, that means it is an affiliate link, which means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links. It's a great way to show your support for the channel because it will give me a kickback for you using my links. So I thank you so much for using my links. I really appreciate your support. And I also have super thanks. So if you wanted to give me a little bit of a tip towards my channel, then I appreciate that as well. Otherwise, I will leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye, guys.